Hello everyone, and welcome to part 35 of my Monster Hunter Generations playthrough. Today, we're going to be doing a few of the new monsters that show up in high rank. The first one that we're going to go fight is a large Neopterin, or just a fancy word for Monster Hunter bug, called the Celtas. Celtas isn't super hard, but it can still be challenging because it's quite fast, and it flies all the time. I am finally making good on my promise and using the hunting horn. And uh, I'm going to be sort of supporting them today. So this will be interesting. Them being Nick and Emily as normal. Hello. Hello. I believe the cell test starts in the middle. This is the yep. primal forest. This is a map returning from Monster Hunter 4. So I'm very familiar with it. Yeah, he's over here. He's a big bug. Yup. So I'm going to wait till you guys get in here to play the songs, but I'm going to explain how Hunting Horn works in the meantime. So every attack will have a different note. X is for this horn, white, A is blue, and then if I hit them together, it's yellow. So if I play certain combinations of those notes, it will play a song that gives an effect. This horn has negate stamina, defense boost, ice resistance, and sonic waves, which is basically a fancy sonic bomb. So if you hit the monster, actually, it will turn the note into a double note. And then, I know it has a fancy note, or fancy name, I just don't know what it is. <laughs> It'll turn it into a double note. If you get a double note on, what is it, two songs in a row, I believe? You will, uh, yeah. you will activate the song that you just played, as well as the song before it. So I'm just going to use these little gen prey over here to play my song. So I'm going to get them to gate stamina. Nice, okay. And now. then if you get a double note one, you'll get negate stamina and whatever song you just played. Yep, so I'm going to give myself the movement speed boost, and they get the negate stamina. And then I can play an encore again, give them the boost again, and it changes the effect for me. Hunting horns, it's sort of difficult to get into, but once you figure it out, it's pretty easy. Got that mount, though. Nice, have a defense boost. Thanks. You hit me. So we have a lot of lockdown on this um, this group that we're playing with right now, and a lot of status. We have a very good paralysis weapon. I'm using a very good poison weapon. The Dread Queen weapons and armor are great for status, and so we're making the most out of that. So see, now he's paralyzed. All right, so we're gonna do that into that. Oh, I missed the last piece. Oh, well, whatever. Have more, less stamina. So, Hunting Horn is an impact weapon, but unlike Hammer, it's not as good at knocking monsters out. It more focuses on exhausting them. So, I have two Hunter Arts with me, since I am using Guild Style. The first... Oops. No, the first is not getting hit by the Celtas. The first Hunter Art is Harmony. In, or Harmonize. Now, all of my notes for a duration will be double, no matter if I hit the monster or not. See? And then my other one, as soon as I get this song off, I'm just prioritizing the negate stamina because we have a dual blades user. And that's really good for dual blades because they can just go crazy if they have negate stamina. Second one is Sonic Smash. Which, as you saw there, is just a really big hit with the horn. Oh, speaking of knocking out monsters, there it goes. It was obviously a combination of me and you, because of Sword and Shield, right? <laughs> oh, are you using the exhaust oil? No, I should use the exhaust oil. Oh. I, I always I always do Infinity and uh, Mind's Eye. I always forget I have exhaust. Is he limping? Yep. He's a baby. Of course he's I just limping. mounted it. Nice. Let's finish it here. Unfortunately, this horn doesn't have any attack buffs on it, but that's all right. There we go. That's the first hunt of the day done, quite quickly I might add. Let's see what's coming up next. So our next hunt of today takes us out to a, another new monster in high rank in this game called the Ketchawacha. The Ketchawacha is an odd little critter. It's sort of like a flying squirrel monkey thing. I don't know. It's well, annoying. It's very quick and nimble. So. Annoying. Yes. 
It likes to swing around from and below vines that are in its area. Luckily, however, my hunting horn can do a sonic wave sonic bomb effect, so I can knock it down, because it has very sensitive ears. So, I actually got... Oh, you got the secret area. Yeah, I did. Nice. On high rank quests, they can start you in a random location, as you might have noticed. I've always started in the base on these, because I've just been lucky. But there is a secret area that it will spawn you in where you can get items and uh, usually it's ores, bugs, and a gathering spot, which gives talismans and such, which are sort of unusual and hard to get. But if you eat for Feline Explorer, you can get there a lot. Yes, guaranteed. It's a food skill. He's in four, by the way. I had Oracle at the beginning of this. I knew he was going to be in four. He always starts in four and then moves to two or nine. I've never seen him move to well, nine when he's not limping. I just moved to six, and there's mining nodes, so I'm going to do that. You guys have fun. Yeah, go for it. Just don't complain when you don't have your no stamina song. That's okay. I'll live. Will you, though? Hopefully. Oh, hey. That's interesting. If you do an encore of a song before you've done an encore already, it'll just do the, uh... Yeah, it will just do the same song twice. No, no, no. It, it does the, uh... I did the double notes on the Negate Stamina, and it gave me my movement speed song, and I haven't even played oh, it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I got you now. I didn't know that. Yeah, it, it, it does your uh, basic uh, song of your people as the the one previous always. Yes. The song of the people is what we refer to, or we refer to the song that only affects the Hunting Horn user himself as the song of our people. Are you in here, Emily? Yep. I'm going to take a moment to be greedy because I'm pretty sure there's mining nodes up here. Oh, never mind. I'm going to get a sonic bomb ready. Oh, he's enraged now. It won't work. Whatever. Ow. Rude. Are right, you have fun with that. I'm going to mine real quick. In high rank, Dragonite Ore can basically be found every ow, can basically be found everywhere, and I need a lot of it. So I'm just gonna hit this up real quick, fast, and I only got two. That's good enough. I got a mount. Perfect. I'll give you guys a defense boost in uno momento. Rude. What a little turd. There you go. Ow, Nick. Sorry. So this guy's not particularly hard like the cell test. He's just uh, a little bit annoying. But because our team has such good lockdown, we uh, don't really have that issue. This is high rank people. Broken weapon combos, and we're just getting started. Then again, these monsters aren't really uh, that strong when you're fighting with three people. But they are different, and they're unique, and they're new. So I'm covering them. There you go. All right, where's he going? He's were, you, were you hitting the head a lot, Eric? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I was just doing a lot of... I wasn't sure if I was doing a lot of knockback, knockout damage or if I was just seeing you do it. Yeah, he's going to eight. Uh, the... I know the shield can do knockout damage. Yes, and when you have the exhaust oil on the sword and shield, it's very good for knocking out monsters because it attacks so fast. He went to eight and I went to seven. Oh, no, I went to eight. Someone else went to seven. Well, I went to seven because I'm an idiot. <laughs> He's exhausted, by the by. That's because I've been using stamina oil. Also hunting horn. Also hunting horn, yeah. <laughs> if we can break his ears, that would be grand. Oh, wait, are they already broken? I can't tell. I mean, we've been hitting its head a lot. Uh, yeah, its ears are broken. When it's enraged, it wears its ears like a cute little mask. I'd call it ugly. I <laughs> call... Uh... His nose freaks me out. We can't all be beautiful, am I? I know. <laughs> can't all it's be as beautiful as me. <laughs> Harmonize with me. Oh. So I'm not actually sure how good that Sonic Smash move is, or what it even does, admittedly. Is he flying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can fly. 
but it looks really fancy. Yeah, he has wings, technically. The sort of flying squirrel things on yeah, it. Yeah, I still don't understand Sonic Smash very well myself. It does, like, two knockout hits, and then the third hit will also do knockback, knockout damage. Whoop. He just flew down and smacked me. Control-wise with Hunting Corn, the A's and X's do the notes, and then to play the song, it's the right trigger. I always get the sonic waves right as he enrages. Oh, come on. Can I please hit you? Got him out. Nice, that's the sub-quest to mount him twice, by the way. Have some of that. Nick, you paralyzed the Jaggy. I just see it, like, struggling in the background over there. Oh my god, I wasn't even trying. Yeah, Nick is... Oh, there it goes again. Nick is using the Gen Prey Sword and Shield, which is arguably the best paralysis weapon in this game. Or at least the best, eh, best paralysis sword and shield in the game. He's running. I try to finish him off here too. Oh, I got him a Sonic Smash! Nice. Whoop whoop. Well, that's the end of this part of the playthrough. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, comment if you have any suggestions, and subscribe if you don't want to miss the rest of the series. See you all later. Bye.